Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So yes, we are trying out a new setup. I had an idea in my head that turning my camera around to face my whole vanity and my collection back here would be easy. It took us a little while to get here, but hopefully this setup works today. I don't know, we'll try it out. Let me know in the comments if you guys end up liking this setup or what, I would love to know. But today I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing a tag video that was created by Emily Noel here on YouTube. She basically created this video where she said if you had a thousand dollars that you had to spend at Sephora what would be in your fantasy wishlist basket at Sephora and so many of you guys commented on all of my videos saying hey did you see this video from Emily I would love to see your version so that's what I'm gonna do today I've been watching so many videos like this I know Jessica Braun posted one Samantha March posted one I really enjoy watching them I think it's fascinating to see what people would purchase if there wasn't really a limit on how much you could spend I had so much fun picking out all my wishlist items and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I'm also really excited about today's video because Shop Tagger is sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much to Shop Tagger. You guys know I've worked with them in the past. I've used this app, you guys. I'm not joking, nonstop. It is my favorite online shopping app. It's completely free. And this video actually kind of made me think of Shop Tagger because I use the app to do the exact same thing where sometimes I'll just create like a fantasy wishlist and I'll save things to Shop Tagger just for fun. But also it's really functional as well. I like to just use it when I'm online on my browser and if I see anything that I like and whether it's out of stock or maybe it's at a price point that I'm not sure if I want to pay full price for it, I will save it to my shop tagger on my desktop and it will notify me when it comes back in stock. It'll notify me if it goes on sale. I can also categorize it into specific wish lists and different categories. I use it for makeup. I'll use it for clothes, shoes, books, you name it. It has saved me so much money and also actually this week I had a superhero moment with shop tagger because I I had these shoes that I had been eyeing and they sold out so fast a few months ago and I was so sad and I kept thinking about them and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope they come back in stock. I wasn't sure because it was kind of like this limited edition collaboration situation. Anyway, I saved it to my shop tagger and yesterday, you guys, yesterday I got a notification telling me that it was back in stock in my size and I ended up being able to grab them and they sold out again immediately. So if it wasn't for that notification, I honestly don't think I would have ever known that they came back in stock for that brief moment. So that's just a little tiny story and an example of how I like to use it. And it's also really helpful because if there's something that you do wanna purchase right away, you can actually click on the shop tagger icon in the corner and it will give you any coupon codes that are known so that you really know that you're getting the best deal no matter if you're buying something right away or if you're waiting for the price to drop. It just really helps with all of those situations. I will have all the information linked down below if you guys wanna download it. I'm dead serious, it's my favorite, I love it. Without further ado, let's get into my Sephora for a wish list. So I'm actually a little bit embarrassed at how quickly I racked up a thousand dollars in my Sephora basket. But I think it's because when I got in the mentality of like, oh, a fantasy basket, I started to reach for or put items in my cart that I normally wouldn't buy. You know, there's been things that I've had my eye on and I'm curious about, but I've never really taken the plunge and purchased any of them. So I think that's why I added up kind of fast is because there's a lot of higher ticket items, but that's the fun of this challenge. So. So I went a little bit over a thousand. The total in my basket is a thousand and sixteen dollars even, and then there's tax at seventy one dollars. So there is that to take into consideration. That's a hefty tax bill. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with the first item. Now this isn't in any particular order. I've just been eyeing all of these things. So the first thing that I decided to put in the cart is a palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Star eyeshadow palette. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, and honestly, I feel like I would collect collect them all. I don't have them all, but I have quite a few. I just love the formula. I love the color story. So this one right here is not a new palette. This is actually, I think, one of her first palettes. It's $169. So you can see why I have not taken the plunge, but... I love the color scheme. I love the kind of muted bronzy tones on one side and then you have some berries and pinks on the other side. So it just feels like me in a palette, like my two different personas, either very neutral and golden or like ethereal berry pink, you know? So I really, really want to try that sometime. Honestly, I don't know if I will ever pay that much for an eyeshadow palette. 
So, you know, it might just be on my wish list forever. Who knows? But I've always eyed it and I've heard good things about it. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is, mm, let's do another eyeshadow palette. So this one might be a little bit more realistic, even though it's not that far off <laughs> the price range. Well, it kind of is, okay? Every dollar counts. This is the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This is the Mothership 8 Artistry eyeshadow palette. It's the Divine Rose 2 collection. The thing that I am dying to see in person is, okay, do you see the bottom row? The second one from the right, that shade, I have to see it in person. I have to. I don't know when I'm going to end up picking this up, but I feel like it will happen eventually. Even if it takes me five years, you know, I feel like eventually I will pick this up because I love Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. I love makeup in general, so I do feel like I collect a lot. And so I have just two Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes so far, and this would be the third one that I would definitely pick up. But that shade specifically, you guys are probably aware of like a duochrome shadow where it kind of shifts from one color to another. That shade Shade is a trio chrome. Never in my life have I heard of that before. So it shifts into three different colors. I have to put it on my eyes. I have to eventually in my life try that on my eyes. So that's in my cart as well. And that is $125. Still a very hefty price tag for an eyeshadow palette, but you know, this is a fantasy cart, so it's in my cart. Okay, this next thing, this was actually one of the first items that I thought about when I was planning on doing this video and I was adding things into my cart. This is another one of those situations where I'm so curious to see if it's worth the price tag. Is it worth the hype? What is the whole Miracle Broth situation when it comes to this brand? I'm talking about La Mer, so here is the foundation. So this is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation and it's $120. So basically $10 a pump, gotta love it. Um, but I see all of my favorite celebrity makeup artists using La Mer and part of me is like, okay, is that because you're a celebrity makeup artist or is that actually an incredible foundation? Does it photograph on red carpets really well? Does it wear really well? Why are people choosing this over other foundations out there? Because I've tried a lot of foundations. I think there's a lot of great ones out there. There's definitely a lot of foundations that are not this pricey that are very good and photograph well. So I'm just curious. Honestly, this is just more of a like, is it worth the money type of a foundation. So that's why it's in here. I would love to figure that out someday. I don't know if I'll ever end up buying this because I've heard, you know, mixed reviews on this. I've heard people absolutely love it and swear by it. And then I've also heard people be like, mm, it's a good foundation, but you can find the same kind of a thing at the drugstore or even at Sephora for half the price. So I don't know. That's been on my loves list for like a decade now. <laughs> that was dramatic. Probably just like a few years. Point is, I've really, really wanted to try it. Going along the same kind of um, idea, the La Mer powder. It's just called the powder and it's $95. Holy smokes, what is in that powder that makes it $95? It says that it has its miracle broth that attaches onto the skin for a perfect flawless finish. So there's a broth in here, okay? We're cooking up a soup in this. That's like the famous thing from La Mer, right? Is there miracle broth that's infused in every single product? I wanna know if it works miracles, okay? That's why it's in my cart. I want to know and this is another one of those products that I see Patrick Ta and Mary Phillips using Those are two of my favorite celebrity makeup artists They always use La Mer and they always like work with La Mer too on branded things So I just want to know I want to know for myself if that's actually a good formula I don't feel like it would ever be worth $95. Okay, but what if it is? Hmm, I may never know. Okay, let's move on to a concealer. Okay, so this is a little bit of a newer concealer to the market, but everybody that I've heard try this out loves it and says it's like their new favorite concealer. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Um, it, I haven't really like felt an urgency around picking this up because I have so many concealers and I'm kind of trying to go through some before buying more, but I really do want to purchase this and I think the next concealer that I do buy, it'll be this one because again I've just heard really good things about it and there's amazing reviews actually there's over a thousand reviews and it's almost five stars all around so probably pretty good it's $36 so that is pricey for a concealer in my opinion but I'm really interested in it the next thing that I have in my cart is from Dior it's the backstage face and body glow I believe this is pretty new as well this is $38 and it's basically like this universal liquid highlighter I think you can use it underneath your foundation you can mix it in or use it as an actual highlighter. 
and it's supposed to work across all skin tones. And you can apply it on the body, it says, actually. I don't know. It just looks really pretty. I'm really into a lot of Dior products, actually. I think they are definitely on the pricier end, but for the most part, I think you get what you pay for. I love a lot of their lip products. I love their contour palette. I've been especially loving their blushes. I just talked about those in my last favorites video. So this has been on my loves list for a minute. Ever since I saw it on Sephora, I've been really intrigued by it. So I feel like the two Dior products are probably stuff that I will get um, sooner than any of these other things on my list. Just because that price range, I mean, it's still expensive, honestly, for like a concealer to be almost $40. I mean, that's pretty expensive, but compared to everything else, I feel like that's more doable, you know? So I might actually end up picking those two things up in the near future. Let's see here, what is next? Okay, the last makeup item that I have, and then I'll move on to skincare because there's a few skincare things that I really wanted. Let's see, the YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lipsticks. I have the shade Le Nou, number 70, saved. I'm pretty sure I saved that shade because somebody recommended it when I asked you guys to submit your favorite products on Instagram. You guys know how I do those videos where you guys tell me what products you like and I try them out. That's where I learned about these lipsticks. So many people raved about the YSL lipsticks and said that they were their holy grails that they're worth every penny. So I've had this saved on my loves list for a long time. It's $38 for a lipstick. So again, it's another one of those things where it's like, ah, do I end up buying this? Do I wait a little bit? And it's just been sitting in my loves list for a long time. But if I had a thousand dollars to just spend at Sephora, that would definitely be something that I would want to try because I trust your guys' opinions when it comes to makeup recommendations. So I have really wanted to try that for a long time. Oh, wait, there's one more makeup thing. Hold on, back up. Okay, this is another one of those products that I found pretty soon after it launched and then I saved it to my loves list and then I just haven't picked it up, I don't know. And I've placed several orders on Sephora since saving this, but I just haven't like actually gone and picked it up yet. So this is from Shiseido. It's the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. I love Shiseido products. This looks beautiful. The reviews are incredible. I really do base a lot of my personal purchases off of reviews use. Sometimes when it's brand new, like you can't really do that if there's not reviews yet. I have a product like that that I'll tell you about in a second. But like when over 1100 people think highly of this product, I think it's probably something to look into. I might end up buying this. I think I might have just convinced myself right here, right now. Who knows? <laughs> but I've been interested in that powder for a minute now and I do love to use powder foundation. The one that I love the most right now, as far as a pressed powder foundation goes, is the one from Makeup Forever, the matte powder foundation. I love to use that um, to touch up my face in the T-zone especially, or even under the eyes. It's not too heavy looking if you use the right amount and it just smooths everything out so beautifully. So I'm thinking that the Shiseido one could probably do something like that for me, but. I don't know, I guess we'll have to try it. All right, now we're moving on to skincare, right? Yes. This is also another one of the things that I immediately put in my basket. Now this is from Foreo. Is it Foreo or Foreo? I don't know. Somebody help me out if you know how to pronounce this brand name, but this is a skin cleansing device. It's silicone, I believe, and I've heard good things about it. I've never tried it. I have always used the Clarisonic, so I never really wanted to invest in like a second cleansing device for my face, but you know, this has intrigued me for a while. I like the idea that there aren't brush heads because you don't have to worry about bacteria in the brush. You can sanitize it really well. And I don't know, I think that it just kind of seems like a fun skin tool to use. If you guys are fans of this or if you've tried this before, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know if you feel like it's worth the price because that is definitely quite the investment. It's $200, so like that's a lot of money up front, but is it worth it if you've bought it? I wanna know, let me know in the comments. Plus, I guess if you do buy it, you don't have to buy like extra brush heads so you don't have to fork out that money later. So maybe it is worth the 200. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, the next skincare item that I have in my cart is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Irish More Mud Purifying Black Mask. I love Peter Thomas Roth masks. This is next on my list. My favorite one is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is incredible. So this is $60, which is why I haven't picked it up quite yet. You could get a few things for $60, you know, and you could get several things at $60 at 
the drugstore. So it's just been sitting in my loves list again and I haven't purchased it quite yet. It went on sale a couple of months ago and I missed it completely and it sold out completely. So that probably would have been my chance to pick it up. But I love a good mask, especially a good mud mask for my acne prone skin. So I've been eyeing this for a long time. I would love to know if you guys have tried this mask before and what you think about it. All right, this next skincare product is something that I've also eyed for a long time. But I already have several vitamin C serums that I'm trying to go through because vitamin C needs to be used up quickly, otherwise it will oxidize and lose its potency. So I'm trying to go through the ones that I already have open. But this is from Summer Fridays. It's the CC Me Serum. It's $64. So again, pretty darn expensive. But the before and after pictures that they have, like you guys should scroll through, like find this on your Sephora app and scroll through and look at like the results. I want those same results in my skin because I really do struggle with hyperpigmentation. So a vitamin C serum in general really has helped me with with that but this one looks particularly good and the reviews are really good on this as well so that's in there too okay i think i have just one more product and then that will equal a thousand dollars which is insane the last thing is brand new to sephora it has zero reviews i want to buy this and i think i might buy this actually pretty soon because there's something about it that i just i don't know i really am interested in this this is the laneige cream skin mist doesn't that sound divine i don't really know if it's supposed to be for makeup or more for skincare. I think it's more of like a hydrating mist for skincare, which I've been really, really into hydrating mists in the middle of like my skin routine. I have a few that I've been really enjoying, but this one for some reason looks really nice. It's supposed to be lightweight. It's supposed to deliver hydration for up to 12 hours. It's supposed to um, strengthen your skin's moisture barrier, which I'm learning more and more as I study skin, that strengthening your skin barrier is so key, especially when it comes to acne prone skin. So Anyway, that's kind of what made me want to look into this product. And yeah, I think that is it, you guys. I'm going through my list one more time. Yep, that's everything. Can you believe that those products equal over a thousand dollars? That wasn't that many things. And for a thousand dollars, that's wild. Like it just shows you that the beauty world is so expensive. Honestly, you know what? Sometimes I really wonder how much I've spent on makeup throughout my lifetime. That is the thing that I spend my money on. Wouldn't that be fascinating to be able to like go back in time from when I was 13 years old and started wearing makeup till now and see how much money I have spent on makeup. I bet you it's an appalling number, it's insane. But that was so much fun. I'm so glad that Emily Noel came up with this tag video. I will have her original video linked down below as well as the other two that I've watched so far down below if you guys wanna watch more like this. I would love to know in the comments what your wish list would look like if you had a thousand dollars that you had to spend at Sephora what would you pick out? I would love to know what you guys have been eyeing. Again, if you guys wanna do like this fantasy wish list type of thing, Shop Tagger Seriously is such a fun way to do that. I love to just go on my Shop Tagger and just put things all together and compile them and just be able to see them all in one place. I think it's really helpful actually to be able to figure out what I actually wanna purchase and I can see everything and just think about things for a little bit or you know maybe never end up buying something, but just being able to kind of save it to a wish list or to some sort of place that I can refer back to is really satisfying. Again, I will have the link and info for all of the Shop Tiger goodness down below. You guys should seriously check it out if you have not already. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the new background as well. Please let me know. Give me your honest feedback in the comments. I would love to know if you guys like this kind of a setup. Tell me. I want to make sure that my videos are what you guys want to see, so be sure to let me know. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you.